Hey, what's up guys? This is Steel Rain and welcome back to my channel. And today we're going to be doing an overview of the newest ZMX, the Finex 30. As they say on their website though, it's it's spelt F I N X 30, but it's actually pronounced Phoenix 30 uh, from Silver Silver Drone. And you everybody knows ZMX pretty well. Um, we'll go ahead and get into this motor. And what I find pretty exciting about this motor, it's got one of the most innovative things that I've seen in motor construction happen, you know, any any time within the last couple years. And that, I don't know if you guys could see closely, it's got that ribbed bell design. And basically that's their patented string theory flux ring that supposedly makes it lighter and more efficient and, and stronger overall. And basically what it does is that the the outside has got these ridges and it's supposed to redirect the magnetic uh, I guess the magnetic field back in towards the magnets and from what I've read what it does is if you see the the air gap there and how small the magnets are they could use a lot thinner magnets to get the same amount of power which saves you weight and you know amongst efficiency and a few other things so you know great great idea great tech you know coolest thing I've seen in motor design in quite a while now these things are $25 on average so they're definitely not a budget motor beautiful motor though overall but definitely not a budget motor I got these for Black Friday from Pyrodrone for about 22 bucks so still pretty expensive even with the discounts and everything uh, it's a 2207 and a half millimeter uh, height so 22 wide by seven and a half tall kind of kind of weird height uh, but uh, from what I've read it's it's a uh, stator and magnets are a little bit little bit taller so we'll go ahead and measure that here in a bit and like I said in 52 sh magnets pretty strong magnets so gonna give you a lot of power hopefully good efficiency I'll have to uh, test that out on a build uh, for part two of this so um, the wire it comes with says 20 centimeters or 200 millimeters of 20 gauge wire uh, I'm not gonna not gonna measure that I've already pre-measured it before this video it is uh, 20 centimeters or 200 millimeters uh, made with the best grade materials as you can see it's uh, the naked bottom design that everybody's going to to save weight so and it's made from uh, 7075 T7 aircraft grade aluminum a pretty pretty strong pretty lightweight it's gonna be you know pretty pretty good and uh, excellent overall in the air so uh, next they say it weighs 29.6 grams with short wire so what we're gonna do here so I can get that in the in the view there So with 20 centimeters of wire, it's coming in at 34 grams. So what I did, I measured out some excess wire here and measured it out to, uh, I'm trying to remember exactly, it, it would equate to this motor having about 30 centimeters of wire on it. So you lose about three or four grams. So I could, I could see what they're saying there. A lot of times they don't uh, take the weight with the, the prop nut on. So, seems about right on par. And like I said, we're, what we're going to go ahead and do is go ahead and tear this motor down and uh, look at what some of the inside is. So this is a one and a half millimeter set screw here in the bottom. You can see that. It's also got like a brass bushing. So we'll go ahead and take that out. Grab this bad boy and yank it out there. And we'll go ahead and go on to the bell. So as you can see, overall magnets are pretty thin. There's a little bit of balancing balancing mud in there. That blue uh, balancing mud. And we're going to go ahead and see what the shaft weighs in here. See how thick the shaft is. Looks about 3 millimeter. Could be wrong though. No. three millimeters on the shaft and hollow shaft so 
don't have a screwdriver small enough, but from what I could tell, it's a hollow shaft. Doesn't look like it's hollow all the way through, though. See how far that goes down. So it goes down. It looks like it's almost all the way through. I'm guessing it's just hollow right here for the set screw. So nice, nice thin magnets, evenly spaced. There's not a lot of balancing mud on it, just in a couple spots. But looks like nice machining, real smooth, nice overall. Now we'll go down here and we'll look at the stator windings. And as you can see, they're single strand. There's a lot of arguments about whether single strand or multi strands better. You know it. it We'll have to see in efficiency once I get this going. So, uh, bearings look like look like eight millimeter diameter on the outside, and of course, you know, three for inner. I'm not sure how thick they are. I'm gonna have to pull one of these out here. They look like they're pretty well pressed in there. So, couldn't find any information on that. Oh, we'll go ahead and get a stator height here. And it's coming in. Let's see if that comes up on camera. About 7.25. Take a measurement from the other side. About 7.30 on that side. So overall, pretty clean motor. Real clean and neat windings. Um, really excited to try this out. Uh, if you guys leave any suggestions below on what you think I should put these on. I've also got some Brother Hobby R5 naked bottoms coming in in uh, 2600 kV. And I have the uh, uh, Flight Club Proton on pre-order. So that's going to be a racing frame. So I could either put these on it. And I'm also going to be ordering the new Armatin uh, Rooster when it arrived so gonna have a brand new racing frame and a brand new freestyle frame and uh, you guys let me know or what you think uh, I should put what motors on on what build between the ZMX and the brother hobby that'll have a review coming out here shortly on so I uh, wish I had some thrust test uh, equipment but gonna leave that up to Ryan Harrell at mini quad test bench to uh, provide that material uh, along with engineer X he does an excellent job on YouTube and uh, I'm sure he's already done a review and thrust test on this if not I'm sure it's coming shortly so that was just a quick overview of this motor guys uh, like I said premium up in the premium so it might not be for everybody but uh, been interested in these for a while uh, Bob Rugi, also known as Kebab uh, FPV has been using these and uh, seems like for quite a while now and he loves them so you know I, I trust his opinion and it says a real powerful, really smooth. So we'll, we'll have to go ahead and see once I throw them on a build. But uh, with that, guys, it's pretty much going to be the end of this overview of this uh, beautiful motor. Uh, hopefully you guys learned some information. If you like the video, uh, please like, subscribe, and share. And uh, leave any questions, comments, or suggestions down in the normal place below. See you next time, guys.